installing a TP-Link wireless dual band modem router. This video is suitable for the AC1900 wireless dual band gigabit ADSL2 plus modem router, the Archer D9 and other modem routers. This video has been developed for users who, for whatever reason, can't run the resource CD in the product box. Step 1. Plug the enclosed splitter into your phone socket, then connect one end of the supply cable to the modem port on the splitter and connect the other end to the ADSL port on the router. If you are using a landline phone, please connect the phone cable to the other port on the splitter and then connect the other end to your phone. Step 2. Connect your router to a power supply and press the power button. The LED lights will turn blue when your hardware is correctly set up. The internet light will come on when you finish the configuration. If the Wi-Fi lights are off, please press the Wi-Fi button on the back of the router for 2 seconds and check the LED status 5 seconds later. You can set up the router via either a wired or wireless connection. To connect wirelessly, click the wireless network icon on your desktop. Select either TP-Link underscore 2.4 GHz or TP-Link underscore 5 GHz, then click connect. If neither of these networks appear, click the refresh button. When prompted, enter the network security key printed on the back of the router. Press next. Then you can configure the router via a web browser. If you cannot connect the router to your computer wirelessly, you can connect via a cable. Simply connect the router to your desktop or laptop via an ethernet cable. Enter http tplinkmodemnet in the address bar. Type in admin for both the username and password and click OK. Choose Quick Setup in the main menu then click Next to start the configuration. Select your region and time zone from the drop down list and then click next. Select auto detect and click next to continue. Enter the username and password provided by your internet service provider and click next to continue. You can now verify or change your 2.4 GHz wireless network name and password. Click next to continue. As this is a dual band router, you can also verify or change your 5 GHz wireless network name and password. Click next to continue. Click save and wait for your settings to take effect. Click finish to complete the setup. If after watching this video you are still experiencing problems setting up your wireless dual band modem router, please email support.uk at tp-link.com and include your name and a daytime telephone number so we can contact you.